Hey Siri, good morning. Good morning. What's the weather like today in Maple Ridge? It's currently clear and zero degrees in Maple Ridge, BC. Today's high will be eight degrees and the low will be zero. You are the wind beneath my wings. Always come prepared because you just never know. This is Alouette Lake. We had another great night's sleep here at the campground. I slept till eight o'clock this morning, which is unlike me. Don't get me wrong, I was up every few hours and I looked at my clock, I'm like three o'clock, nah, -uh. back to bed, look at my clock, six o'clock, nah, -uh. back to bed again. Oh, I feel good to just have a day like that. Normally it's like, bing, the second it gets up, 2.30, 3.30, 4.30 in the morning, I'm like, let's go. Today I'm like, nope. So Alouette Lake is a hydroelectric reservoir. So normally the water level that's down there is like right up here, right there. Um, but they obviously drain the reservoir. The water runs through the turbines, creates electricity. So the water here does fluctuate from time to time. I have never once been here when the water's been low. I've always been here when the water's been high. This is the first time for me seeing this. But the lake is amazing. My favorite part is the layered mountain. So one mountain, then there's another one behind it, then another one behind it. Just breathtaking. What a great way to start a day. Uh, one of our original stickers, me and Disco. That's <laughs> super awesome. There's one store in Vancouver that I used to spend a lot of time at. Man, I'd spend time at any one of these locations. This store is called Long & McQuaid. I spend so much money here over the years, building crazy home studios in the condos that I lived in, but sometimes I find myself back in these stores, even though I live in a van, just dreaming. Looking around, wondering, hmm, what could I put in my van? <laughs> How cool is this thing? Look at that. Huge digital soundboard. Unbelievable. I've been around audio and video gear my whole life. This is a place that I feel comfortable. I just feel good around all of this. Damn, just dreaming. Ooh. I was in the stereo place dreaming about things for the inside of my van. Just dream. So. What you guys just seen was everything I'm gonna be putting in my van. I filmed that whole room. <laughs> I'm gonna put all that stuff in my home. Anyway, we are here at a little brewery called Andina. Yeah, Andina's. It's right by my buddy's work. We're gonna go eat some food, we're gonna go drink some beers. Welcome to the zoo. Taking you into the music store was my way of showing you guys a little piece of my past. I was born a DJ, and that's the truth. And I will die a DJ. I will forever have that music rhythm inside of me. Even though I've chosen to stop playing out to any live shows right now for a while, 
because I'm really enjoying this ride that we all have together right here on YouTube. And that's why you hear so much music in my videos is because music is just a way I express myself. Wow. This dip is good. <laughs> hey Siri, what's the population of Toronto, Canada? In 2018, the population of Toronto was 2,954,024. Hey Siri, what's the population of Vancouver, BC? In 2016, the population of Vancouver was 631,486. Stopped on my mailbox. We got some stickers from a subscriber of mine. Where am I gonna put this thing? My sticker game on the roof is like insane. How about we stick it right there? Ugh. Yeah. Ah, you have a unicorn's butt sticking out of your, <laughs> out of your sticker. <laughs> awesome. I love it when people send me stickers. I got another one. It's a good sticker, dude. Um, there's his YouTube channel. The Urban Explorer, he's uh, one of our Patreon supporters. We're gonna stick one back here. <laughs> Running out of room that I'm starting to put things on the back of things. Because I was born and raised around the Vancouver area, this area has lost its shine. Do you know what I mean? But for a place to come and travel to, if you've never been here, Vancouver is incredibly beautiful. We're surrounded by ocean. We got world-class skiing and mountain bike trails. The place just offers a little bit of something for everybody. The diversity, the food, it's an incredible place to be. I know today's video is just a short one, but sometimes I just don't always feel like being on camera and talking. This is wintertime in Vancouver. People are outside all bundled up watching the sunset, out walking their dogs, playing beach volleyball. Man, you know, sometimes I forget about how beautiful this city really is. If you guys haven't had the chance to follow Cruz the Bulldog yet, please go do that on YouTube, C-R-U-Z, the Bulldog. I'll link it at the end of this video too as well. But I guess it's only fitting that we let Siri end this video. So, hey Siri, can you tell us a bedtime story? Once upon a time, there was a robot chicken, and it went into the woods, where it met a three-headed gallopod and a tiny jumping snail. And they danced all night in the woods until the silver monkeys came out. They fell asleep under banana leaves. And when they woke up, they all had magical flying powers huzzah. Good night. <laughs>